here on Kiwi. Well, coming up, it's uh, Fair Trade Fortnight from the 5th to the 20th of May. Well, what is it and um, how can you take part? Well, I'm going to be talking right now to uh, Stephen Knapp, who is the um, CEO of Fair Trade New Zealand Australia. Hello to you, Stephen. Good morning. Yes, Fair Trade uh, Fortnight is when um, New Zealanders get the chance to really think about their purchases, right? Yeah, that's right. I mean, people uh, support Fair Trade all year round, but Fair Trade Fortnight's a real chance for everybody to celebrate uh, you know what good work fair trade's doing, and to um, really push it into the into people's public uh, perception. And coffee being the um, the easiest one to think about. Yeah, that's right. I mean, coffee's still the the biggest fair trade product. So uh, you know, available in lots of cafes, Wild Bean, Esquires, all 100% fair trade. Um, but uh, bananas, we talked about last year, is yep. uh, is growing well. And uh, is it is it growing? Yeah, I mean the the all good guys who are doing the bananas, they um, they tell me they got about five percent of the market now, which is which is incredible. Bad, I mean, eh? considering the size of the companies they're they're up against and competing with, so uh, you know, it really shows that that people are supportive of fair trade and you know making that choice to to really make a difference. And is uh, the coffee um, fair trade market still growing? Yeah, the coffee market's still growing. Um, I think we've got about twenty percent growth in uh, fair trade coffee sales last year. Which uh, you know is fantastic given the, the current economic climate. So I mean, fair trade continues to grow. Uh, retail market in New Zealand's now worth about forty five point four million million dollars. We uh, we estimated. I mean, is, it, is the coffee side of things almost getting to the point where some cafes don't even need to say that it's fair trade? They just stock, are stocking fair trade beans. Yeah, I mean, different cafes make a make a different different show of what they're doing, and uh, you know, some make more of a point that they're fair trade than others. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's it's still good to to ask whether whether the beans are fair trade, and you know, if you see the the green and blue fair trade label, then that's your that's your guarantee, and you know that it's a fair trade uh, fair trade coffee or, or any other fair trade product. And of course, the other product is um, or the other big one is is chocolate as well. In- yeah, chocolate's uh, increased massively over the over the last twelve eighteen months. So um, Whitaker's creamy milk, uh, fair trade certified. Cadbury Dairy Milk and uh, also Scarborough Fair and uh, and Green and Blacks have a full fair trade certified chocolate range and you know it's great to be able to eat fair trade chocolate. Are there any other products you can highlight? Uh, tea, um, fair trade tea is uh, is available. Uh, I have to search it out a little bit more than the than the coffee and chocolate. Yeah. Uh, bananas and and of course fair trade cotton as well. Um, uh, Kowtow in in Wellington does a fantastic range of fair trade certified cotton t-shirts. And so Choose Fair is the theme for this Fair Trade fortnight. Um, and what does that entail? Uh, choose Fair. Um, you know, if every one of us bought one more Fair Trade product this fortnight, it would make a fantastic big difference to the uh, farmers and workers in, in developing countries. Mm. So it's a, it's a really easy thing for people to do, uh, easy way to engage and, you know, really easy way to make a difference. And so you've got a, um, a nation, nationwide T-shirt ad campaign so there'll be lots of people wearing the t-shirts around the place yeah i hope so yeah and we uh we got a launch event this friday morning uh breakfast in the in the city at britomart uh tay radar's hosting that starts at 7 a.m and uh there's still a few tickets available so yeah come and see what tay radar looks like at yes. 7 a.m so they're calling that a fair, uh, fair trade breakfast in the city in fact i've got a um, couple of double passes to give away to that so if anyone is going to be in Auckland on Friday the 4th of May, this Friday from 7 to 9 a.m., and you can be down at the Britomart Country Club, then uh, give me a text, a 3013, and uh, just say you want to go to the Fair Trade thingamajig, and we will um, get you a double pass to that text, 3013. Okay, so for that, for that fortnight, um, I guess I guess it'll be you know slightly in people's faces, so they won't be able to forget this sort of stuff, and um, and then hopefully... Um, create habits and and make make a change for the rest of the year as well. Yeah, that's the uh, that's the idea. Mm. And uh, I mean, we've got some good engagement from the from the supermarkets this year. And you know, particularly in uh, in Countdown, we'll have uh, some some green uh, bins that'll have all the fair trade products in them. So you know, no excuse that that people aren't able to find them this year. Uh, they'll be. Uh, easily available and and easy for people to see. So, you know, pick up a fair trade product and give it a try. Cool, definitely do. Um, I certainly will. Uh, Fairtrade.org.nz is where you can head for all the info on that as well. Stephen Knapp has been my guest, CEO of Fairtrade Australia New Zealand. Thanks very much for your time. Thanks, Robert.